I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I post all things about motherhood, lifestyle, homemaking, fashion and travel. So if you enjoy those things then please do subscribe to my channel. Today I am sharing with you what is inside my kids travel bag. We are going on holiday. It's a holiday in England. It's about a two hour drive away so we'll be traveling there by car. I am just going with me and my two children so that means that there will be, I will be driving and there will be no one else to help occupy the girls. I have two children, a four year old and Maeve who is 14 months old. Maeve will be fine, we're gonna go there about nap time and I'm sure she'll pretty much sleep the whole way there. Rosalie on the other hand will probably be talking to me the whole way there. I have put together this little bag with some activities and things to try and keep her occupied. There are all things that she can do herself and that she can get access to herself because I'm not going to be on hand to give her things and to help her do things. So she can have this next to her in the car seat, she'll be able to open it herself and get out all the toys and things that are in there. So keep watching to see what I am packing in my little girl's travel bag. So let's see what's inside. The first thing I'm going to put on the outside in this handy pocket is a water bottle. It's really hot in England at the moment so when we're in the car she's probably going to get very hot so I'm going to make sure she has lots of drinks. This water bottle can go in the side, it won't tip over because she can keep it in the little upright section. I just think that would be really easy for her to get hold of whilst she's in the back seat. This front pocket here, I have put snacks. So we have another drink. I didn't want to do give her any drinks with straws because they're just sort of asking for trouble for spillages and things. So I've got her like a fruit shoot type drink because they have the push down lid and I just think that'd be much easier for her. If she doesn't finish it she can just push the lid back down again. I've also got some sweets and snacks because we're going to be in the car and it's very hot. I didn't want to give her anything messy or chocolatey that would melt. So I've got some fruit paws. These are just little fruit chewy shapes really. Two packs of those. I've also got some hard sweets. So I've got in here are some nerds if you've heard of those and in this little tub are some jelly beans so these are sweets but they're not sticky sweets they've got a hard coating on so they'll be fine for her to eat in the car if she does lose any down the side of the seat we'll be able to get them out afterwards they're not going to get squished in and they're not going to make a mess basically i haven't given her any crisps or anything like that because i think that will make a mess now for what's in the main compartment of the bag now this bag has a really handy tablet pocket at the back. The iPad isn't in there at the moment because Rosalie's actually watching it right now while I film this video. So I didn't want to disturb her and take that off her, but we will be taking the iPad. It has, she won't be able to watch YouTube because we don't have internet with the iPad, but she will be able to watch um, the programs that we pre-downloaded and also there are some Peppa Pig games on there and some Peppa Pig episodes. Some other programs as well that she will be able to watch if she wants to. The next item is this colouring book. It's quite a stiff colouring book um, so it's quite sturdy. She'll be able to lean on it and colour while she's in the car. It's got loads of different pictures in there for her to colour with those. I am letting her have these gel pens. They come in their own little case so they're really secure. She's not going to drop any or lose them because they all clip in so she won't lose any. They won't all fall out if she turns it upside down. So if she had a pencil case, she might lose a few things, but because they all fit into their little space, they'll all stay together in the car. She can take one out, use it, and then put it back before she gets the next one out. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, I think these are, these also don't make a mess. They're really neat. She can do her drawing with them and hopefully not make too much mess while she's not being observed. <laughs> I have some wet wipes. These are her own personal stash for use when in the car because she is always shouting for me, mommy, my hands are messy, I need a wet wipe. So she will have her own so that if she does get messy, even though I've tried not to give her anything that will get sticky, if she does get sticky, she'll have these wet wipes to clean up. The next item I have got are lol dolls. Rosalie loves lol dolls, so I've just put a few of them in here for her to play with. I have put their accessories and all their clothes with them. I'm hoping that in the car she won't take all their clothes off. I'll ask her not to, um, because those are little bits that can get lost. But um, as a rule, she plays really nicely with these and 
these will be great to have when we are on holiday because she can play with them then as well dominoes obviously we won't be able to do this in the car but these are really handy for playing with when we get to our chalet we'll be able to play with these and they're just a nice activity to do together in the evening and it's something that we all can play I'm also packing this aloe out puzzle for Rosalie. Again, this won't be for in the car, but it is something that we can do together when we get to the chalet. I'm gonna hide those and the dominoes at the bottom. If you were going on a plane, these would be great activities because you could do them together. Uh, but because she's gonna be in the back seat on her own with only me for company, I won't actually be able to help her with it. I'm also putting in a little pack of bubbles. Again, I don't think she'll be able to do this in the car, although she might try but um, these are for when we get there so she can play with them in our little holiday house. I also picked up this selection of books. Rosie and Maeve were given these at their christening so we haven't even read them so that's why I thought it'd be really nice to take them. But it is Quentin Blake's ABC. My mum is fantastic because obviously I am. A sticker book, so this is a Princess Palace sticker book. loads of things for her to stick on the pages there. The last item I'm going to take is really random and it is a toilet roll because I'm going to say that Rosalie can turn this into a telescope. This is something very special. This is your special holiday telescope so when you're in the car you've got to decorate it with me. You've got to use your gel pens to colour it in and make it pretty and then when we're driving along you can look through it like this and spy things when we play I spy. <laughs> Will that be good? Hey daddy. I <laughs> he's spying already. See what you can spy in the bedroom. Mm. So yeah, I just thought that would be a cool activity that would lead to other things but wouldn't take up much. I see my bag. You can see your bag? Yeah. Wouldn't take up much room. We've got the decorating aspect so she can colour it in, stick stickers on it and make it look pretty and then we'll use it to play our game afterwards. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what's inside my daughter's travel bag. Those are all the things I am taking to keep her occupied on our car journey and holiday. You could use these on a flight if you were travelling abroad. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my ideas. I have done another what's in my plane bag video so I will link that down below if you are flying and you want some more ideas. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.